The options on the writing settings page have very little to do with the block or classic editors. Instead, they focus on specifying your content's default format and more. Let's explore what each option on this page does and how you can best use it to enhance your WordPress site. As you may know, WordPress includes a robust taxonomy system that enables you to assign tags and categories to each post you publish. You can set up as many categories and tags as you want. On this page, WordPress enables you to decide which of those categories you want to use as the default for new posts. You can also choose between multiple default post formats. Depending on which theme you use, you might get access to different post formats. These are templates that govern how each type of content is laid out on your site's front end. By default, WordPress will assign the standard format to new posts. However, WordPress supports many post formats, including image galleries, block quotes, audio playlists, and more. Using a relevant layout for your content can make it more visually appealing. Some themes only offer a single post format. If that's the case for yours, the default post format drop-down menu won't appear in your writing settings at all. When it comes to categories, if you don't see a default option that you like, you can expand your website's taxonomies by going to Post, Categories, and adding a new one. One WordPress feature that's often overlooked is the ability to publish blog posts via email. The platform enables you to configure a specific email address so that if it receives a message, it will automatically publish the contents as a post on your website. This functionality can be useful if you're temporarily locked out of your dashboard and you need to publish content urgently. It's also handy if you're on a mobile device and can't use the WordPress editor with ease, but can still type out an email. The downside of submitting a post via email is that you lose out on advanced formatting options. Any content that you publish via email will simply appear as a plain text blog post. Post formatting is critical when it comes to readability, engagement, and SEO, so we recommend using this functionality sparingly. If you want to configure this setting, you'll need a POP3 enabled email address that you don't use for any other purpose. WordPress will ask for the email address, its server, what port it uses, and its password. Plug all of that information in, and you're all set. Another WordPress feature that doesn't receive much fanfare is the option to notify third-party services about new content that goes live on your website. The most common use for this feature is to tell search engines and news feeds about recent posts on your site. For this feature to work, you'll need to add a list of services and news feeds. As an alternative, you could simply list Pingomatic, which will notify multiple services all at the same time. However, we do recommend against notifying search engines too often. In some cases, they may penalize your website if you ping them repeatedly. Also, there are better ways to ensure that search engines recrawl your website often enough. For example, if you use Search Console, you can ask Google to review your site at any time. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.